it's over. And they know it's over. I mean, all you had to do is listen to Jan Stoltenberg um, stutter his way through his speech yesterday, mm -hmm. um, where he said what I've been saying all along. Uh, you know, in, in September, I, I just want to remind people, in September, I said that the Ukrainians just burned through their entire reserve force. They got nothing left, and they're out of ammunition. Uh, they don't have enough ammo. And when you don't have ammo, you die. Apparently, um, we're running out of ammunition to send them, too. Well, that's the that's what I meant. I mean, mm -hmm. and so Stoltenberg sitting there, you know, finally, uh, you know, the 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 military accountant came up to him and said, "We're done." And you know, oh, the, <laughs> the Ukrainians showed up at uh, in, in Ramstein for the I think the tenth meeting of the uh, of the Ukrainian contact group, and they thought they were going to come in there and say, "We need jet airplanes and we need more tanks, and you guys are going to give it to us because, you know, politically we're on the high thing," and. Uh, Lloyd Austin and and Mark Mealy had to go time out. Um, now that ain't the narrative we're talking about anymore because we got some hard truths. Um, we're out of ammunition. We got nothing left to give you, and you're going to run out of ammunition this summer. And we can't change that outcome, and you're going to lose the war. And that's straight up what they told them. Straight up, you're going to lose the war because without ammunition, you can't win the war, and we literally can't turn this around. Stoltenberg. Well, Russia doesn't seem to have any shortage of ammo. No, or artillery pieces or anything. They, or Russia just completed this big, massive mobilization, mm -hmm. uh, and they're getting ready to bring it to engage. The Ukrainians, on the other hand, already burned through their reserves. What they're, they, they, they're, you know, they're scripting trying, anyone with a pulse at this point, aren't they? They have no choice. They have other people getting trained, but on what? On you know, 14 Challenger 2 tanks? They'll be gone in a week. 14 uh, German uh, Leopard 2 A7s? They're gone in a week. Uh, there's, there's just not enough to, 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 to bring this about. The Russians have everything. The Ukrainians have nothing. This is an artillery war. The head of the uh, U.S. Um, uh, forces in Europe, who's also the Supreme Allied Commander, uh, uh, General Cavoli, I think his name is, uh, spoke in Sweden last month. And um, he said the following. He said, uh, what's going on in Ukraine right now is on a scope and scale that was beyond our imagination. We're not prepared for this fight, meaning we being NATO. NATO can't fight this fight. NATO can't win this fight. And he said, this is about artillery ammunition. This is about big guns. We weren't prepared for this. We never thought we were going to be doing this. What the Russians are doing is something that we can't handle. The Russians have all this ammunition. Uh, they're, they're firing 20,000 rounds a day evened out. Some days it's up to 60,000. Some days it's down to 8,000. But on Christ. average... 20,000 rounds a day. Um, he said, we don't have the ammunition. We can't do it. There were a million rounds. That the United States had a million rounds in reserve, a million. Um, Ukraine is firing, I think, 110,000 rounds every 10 days. So in a month, they fire 330,000 rounds. In three months, they exhaust our million round reserves. We can produce 100,000 rounds in a month. They're expending 110,000 rounds in 10 days. So they are burning through ammunition three times quicker than we can replace it. We run out of all our ammunition options this summer where we have nothing. There's nothing to give the Ukrainians. They have nothing. And with no ammunition in a war like this, you will die and lose the war. This is what's going to happen in this conflict. Russia is going to win decisively this summer because Ukraine will run out of everything, including manpower. 